You are continually attacked every minute of the day from dive bombers, torpedo bombers, and, and U-boats. And the seas are mountainous, black seas. They're ugly. I mean, I've been a sailor ever since I was 15. But my God, I was frightened then. Seven years ago, the Arctic veterans went to Downing Street to plead for a medal. Tony Blair said he could only authorise a badge. A badge? We fought for our country for five years. Eddie Grenfell was bitter then and even now remains angry with the civil service advisers he's always blamed. These are men who never hear a shot fired in their lives. And it makes people like myself extremely angry to think that civil servants who have a very comfortable way of life should treat, treat war veterans in the way they've treated us. The men of Bomber Command have also received a long-awaited honour, a clasp for their campaign medals to signify they were in battle. A memorial to the 55,000 who died was unveiled by the Queen in the summer, 67 years after the end of the war. The airmen had given up on medals long before that. Just after the war, I think there was a, a uh, suggestion in the House uh, about them, and it was turned down. So after that, he gave up. It wasn't any point, you know. You're lucky to be around. That was the main thing. The tragedy is that of those who survived the bombing missions or the perils of the Arctic seas, so few have lived long enough to receive the honours they deserved. Tim Hewitt, ITV News.